Hey Rubies, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dominique LaRue, coming again with another video. Today we are going to try African food. I'm going to this place here in Baton Rouge and I'm going to get some igusi and some fufu. And we're going to try me and my best friend. So yeah, stick around. If you are new, make sure that you click subscribe. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for being part of the family. So I'm about to go pick my best friend up and we're going to see if we like it. I hope I like it. Because I'm not in the mood for not, to not like no food right now. I'm hungry. Okay, so I picked my best friend up. This is my best friend. Y'all know Josh. <laughs> um, and so the place only like three minutes from his house. Uh, somebody's calling me. But whatever. Um, the place only like three minutes from his house. So we about to shoot on over there. And... You know what you're gonna get? Hell nah. I have absolutely no clue, and that's why I'm gonna wait till I get there and see what's up. I kept thinking like I wanted to try like the Mugu Guy Pan, but that's not that's not African food. Boy, if you don't get That's like that's I wanna say that's Chinese. So I I just I have absolutely no clue what I have. I, but I heard okay, I don't, and I don't even know I'm this African. I'm getting fufu and igusi. That's the, igusi. That's the shit like that with it's the gravy. Soup. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to try that shit. I want to do the, the fufu with the and with the uh, rice roll. Yeah, and I want yeah. some couscous with lamb. I think I want lamb in my couscous. So we about to go. See I don't know what the fuck that is, but let's try. Couscous, <laughs> remember, I had couscous at Rouge Creole. It was good. You it did. Was good as fuck. But so. I don't remember. I don't even know what it looked like. It's good as hell. So, all right, we about to go see. Okay. It's back up in here, hidden back up in here. This motherfucker's hidden, man. It's hidden back up in here in the shopping center. A lot of music. All my DJs know where this at. Right. <laughs> That's the funny Way thing. Back up in here, so. It don't even have the night light. Like, it's it's like African, African cuisine. Like it's letting you know. Bada bing, bada boom. The African food is in here. That is funny. So here we are at BBMPF African Cuisine. Let's go inside. We got a call in. Okay, so it says call for service. So we have to call it in. We have BBMPF. This is the menu. Okay. Fried rice, really tasty beef. Crispy vegetables. I want maybe I want couscous with beef. Okay. Like, so we're just gonna go and smoke in the meantime because and like I promise I'm not a xenophobe. I don't have anything against African people. But like, I don't know, maybe it's just her. Cause like my cousin had her birthday party at this place down here. Mm -hmm. And like, she was being a bitch because first of all, wasn't nobody in here. That's the first thing, wasn't nobody here. She was mad cause they had a mechanical bull like on this side of the parking lot. <clears throat> but like, girl, nobody's here. And apparently you take an hour to cook the fucking food. like. That bitch better be fire. I'm talking about this food better. I better not want to eat nothing else for the next week but fufu and igusi on my mama. On my mama. Because then it's like, it's two different plates. And you sitting up here telling me, oh, that's four different orders. No, baby. It's two orders with two plates each. I'm not slow. I know what I'm asking for. I'm looking at the menu. I want couscous and fufu. Couscous. Like, I want both of them. Because I know I like couscous. Because I don't know how this fufu and igusi situation going to go. Because if I don't like this shit. Then at least I have my couscous to eat. Cause couscous is goo goo. Oh yeah? Yeah. I can't see past these times. Um, okay, well I'm in the street now, yeah. so they just gonna have to respect my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, they need to chill out. Yeah, I'm in the street now. It's a bullshit. Like, what the fuck? 45 minutes. Did I set the timer? No. About to set one. Cause I'm hungry. So I know if I, by the time we finish, I'm gonna be like starving. Mm -hmm. Nigga need a snack. She. 
we want rude self. Oh, rude tell self. Oh, Lord, now, do you want to go and fool with these folks at this, uh... Right, huh? At this McDonald's? Because you know how this McDonald's... Yeah, McDonald's. they rooted this McDonald's. They be doing us down bad. Got me setting timers so for fortune. I'm going to take like, like, where the food at? Like, you ain't start cooking today? <laughs> Why it take 45 uh, minutes? One o'clock. Like what? But I ain't gonna lie, I heard that though. I, I ain't even gonna stunt. Like I heard they take long. Like I don't know what I was thinking about. Thinking that we was just gonna that roll up on these niggas. Sailing right and get a plate. Apparently that don't work that way. So <laughs> we're going to McDonald's in the meantime because I would like a large sweet tea and a hot and spicy egg cheese and pickles. Randomly take innocent lives. That is the clear difference of what is at stake here, and I'm so proud. Okay, you want to have the two separate. I have two separate. I need y'all to the big. Okay. So you have the poo poo with the bib and the um couscous with the bib. Okay, like that. Okay, yeah, because you had chicken. This is the worst day of the Biden presidency. It's the worst day of the Biden presidency. It's the deadliest day. For U.S. service members in Afghanistan in a decade since August of 2011, when 30 Americans lost their lives with a helicopter was shot down. So, this is... Is that on the back? Oh! Ooh. I got kind of juice on mine. Okay, that's the fufu. Hold on. I gotta get it. Hey, I got my foof. Oh, I hope I like this. It looks so weird. It looks like a ball of mashed potatoes. It do. And this is, oh, it's hot. It is hot. The igusi. We definitely want to get a close up on that. Um, I ain't got no gas, no napkins. Show looks like no. Here we go. Beef couscous and plantain. So the way I've seen people eat it. Oh wait, it's a whole chicken leg quarter. It's a whole chicken leg quarter. Oh Lord. Okay. So what I seen people do, what they Break off the fufu and dip it in the soup. The yeah. soup, right? Mm -hmm. How big a piece I'm supposed to get? That's a good question. Okay. This much. I got this much. Okay. And then what you dip it, I'm trying to make sure I get the juice. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. You got to sop all that shit up real quick. Hold up. Okay, so this look like, this look like scrambled eggs and green onions and spinach. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. I can see. I need the, um, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I gotta get more of the flavor. Like. The fufu, I'm not used to the fufu, but the igusi is really, really good. I don't like getting my hands dirty when I eat, and the fufu breaks up a little more than Yeah, it's like food. a mashed potato ball. It really is like a mashed potato ball. So, I got a little corner of it right here. Uh-oh. And I'm going to, um, you know, we're going we gonna to see how, we're going to, let's get some beef in here. Let's get some meat on, on the on it. How it is. It's hard to break up the meat. The meat not that tender. This chicken good. Okay. Yeah, you gotta taste that Purchase your tricks today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I really like the eagles in. Okay. Let's see what. I thought this was rice. It's not rice. No. Okay. It's couscous. I don't know what mm-hmm. but couscous, but couscous is. But it's good though. But yeah, it's fried chicken. I like. I like the fufu and igusu. Mm-hmm. But I like so you can just more igusu, more igusu than fufu. Okay. Like. This too much fufu for me. I I probably I probably don't eat half of this. What is this that's in it already? I don't know. I don't know what's in this. Wait. All I know oh, is- this chicken. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's your chicken. That's what I was saying. It's a whole chicken thigh. Raise put- it up. But not thigh. It's a whole chicken leg quarter. Like. Yeah, it's a whole chicken leg quarter, and I got like a whole steak in my shit. When you were talking about a whole chicken leg, I thought you were talking about it in this. No. So I went on ahead and broke a piece of my goose off and just did it like that. Okay. This is, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Oh, um, yeah, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. This is one of the things. I wish my meat was cut up a little more because it's really giving like African bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it though. And not me trying to gentrify. But it's really giving like African bowl, not to gentrify that shit. You hear me? But I like the fufu and mixed in with the eagle tea. Like I, I like it mixed in. I want it all. Cause the way I see people dipping and all that, I don't like. I don't like getting my hands dirty when I eat, so that's not my thing. I feel you. I don't give a fuck sometimes. You know what it is. Like wings, that shit that like, I expect to. If it's sticky, I could deal with oily. I don't like sticky. If it's sticky, I'll be like, uh. I wonder what fufu is. We're gonna have to look up what fufu is. Mm-hmm. She said. Jollof rice looks better than couscous. But I like couscous. Don't let her couscous nasty. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's just means jollof rice is okay. good one. Her couscous, her couscous not bad. It's not as good as real though. <laughs> we said that shit immediately. <laughs> I don't like her plant though. Everything else is really good. What, what would you rate it? On a scale from one to ten, I give it a six and a half. Okay. Like, I'll be back. But I'm not like. Not I'm like. Oh my god. But I ain't gonna lie though. This is goosey. The goosey is the best thing. The goosey is the best thing. Like I definitely will come back for this. And she has suggested the jollof rice, so we'll go back and get the jollof rice too. But the goosey is a hit for sure. Uh, I don't really care for the plantain. Um, the couscous is okay. It's a lot of it though. Um, you might have to hook it up, but it's more than enough to eat off of at least a couple times. But, yeah. What's the place called? Pee-pee. 
BB and PF. All right, guys. First time trying African food, I give it a six and a half out of ten. What would you rate it? I give it a five and a half. Five and a half. Yeah, by average, like, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Yeah, I'm really fucking with this igloo. See, this is good as fuck. I tell others to go try it. Hell yeah. But it's like, I'm not, um, like, oh my God, this is life changing. Same. That's why, that's why I give it a five and a half. It was a little rocky at first. She had me nervous for her attitude. Because I, I know my nerves be bad. I get aggravated. But she was nice. Yeah, that's cool. She ended up being a nice little as you can see. All right, thank you so much for joining me and my friends trying African food for the first time. So collectively, we I think the collective rate is like a six out of 10. I said six and a half, he said five and a half. So collectively we give BB and PJ. Yeah, BB and PF. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> we give BB and PF a six out of 10. Um, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Have you ever tried African food? What's good places where you from to get good African food so that we could go to other places? Yeah. Like so, until next time, goodbye.